The mob, yo, what's going on, guys? So, in front of me, right here, I have two packages that I got from some friends in the Pokemon community. Yo, big shout out to Hidden Collections and They Call Me Joe. They sent me these items, and I've been kind of slacking on opening them. Now, one of these boxes, I know what's exactly inside, and it's a special tin. And if you guys know what my favorite set is, we're gonna open it today. So, big shout out to Joe for sending me this tin, man. I can't wait to open it. The next package over here is from my boy at Hidden Collections. Guys, I'm gonna go ahead and put his channel in the description below. Make sure you check him out. Chris is awesome over there at Hidden Collections, man. Definitely check them out. I have no idea what's inside this package, but I'm super curious and can't wait to find out what's inside. So this is going to be a nice short video opening a few packages once again from legendary Pokemon tubers in the community, man. Just legendary people and just the goodness of the heart decided to go ahead and send me this stuff. Now, that being said, I want to open up the mystery thing first and then we'll get to the tin after. Stick around for the tin because it's going to be absolutely epic. I hope, fingers crossed, maybe we'll get that thing, that one card that we're looking for. But yeah, let's open up this, this thing up and see what's inside. You know what I mean? I'm going to try to be careful. Once again, I don't know what this entails. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a nice little slit on the top and use my finger force to crack open the rest of the old... Uh, bubble mailer if you will guys if you're new to this channel welcome my name is polo shrop do consider you dude smashing that subscribe button smashing the biggest life the biggest life the biggest like you've ever done on youtube right here on this video and man catch me on some other ones catch me on some other ones how about that all right here we go so it's a double mail Ooh, look at this look at this is it a little bit of card is it a little bit of pack what's inside what goodies may we find here yo hidden collections you oh my god what yo what in the sh what in the schniz are you thinking man bro gosh dang it wow so chris from hidden collections decided to send a slabby patty and what this slabby patty is i have no idea but we're dang sure gonna figure it out right now i'm gonna cover up the grade I'm gonna cover up the grade, I hope, maybe, with my fat fingers. And yo, my guy. As you guys know, or those of y'all that are new to the channel, my favorite Pokemon is Snorlax. Like, absolutely legendary. Check out my last video. I got a life size Snorlax product. Um, you might wanna see, it's pretty ridiculous. But Snorlax is my dude, and my man sent me a Japanese Snorlax from Sword and Shield Days. Wow. All right, let's check out the grade. Let's check out the grade. Oh my god, dude, a gem mint freaking 10. Yo, you are absolutely legendary for this. You really did not have to. But jeez Louise, I'm gonna cherish this thing like like for real. Guys, leave this video right now and go check out my dude at Hidden Collections, man. Chris is an absolute legendary guy. And jeez, 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 man. Dude, I'm super thankful for this. That that is amazing that is amazing man that's what the pokemon community is all about dude you are an absolute legend seriously and uh you know dang sure that i'm gonna cherish that piece like forever and freaking ever to pokemon and beyond wow wow yo that was awesome that was awesome that puts a massive smile on the face all right dang man all right next one up is going to be from my dude they call me joe man this is an absolutely legendary individual as well and he was like you know what i don't collect this set but i know you collect this set so i'm gonna send this to you like don't worry about it just open it and enjoy it so we're gonna open it and enjoy it and we're gonna hope for the best as you guys know and now go ahead and guess in the comments if you want below as i open up this box what my favorite set modern set is right go ahead guess away some of y'all may already know, some of y'all may not, some of y'all may not, and uh, yeah, just guess away what you think is inside, but I know what it is, and it is, look at that, look at that, it is, look at this, look at that, it is a Hidden Fates Charizard tin, as y'all know, I've opened about 1400 packs. 1400 packs of Hidden Fates, and I have not pulled the SP49 Shiny Charizard, I pulled every single card from that set, except for that one <laughs> in my binder i currently have a sticker of where the sv49 belongs to complete my master set and i made a vow in the beginning of the channel when i first started that i would not buy that card i would pull it and since then 1400 packs later i have not so is this going to be the 10 that wins and provides me the sv49 
I absolutely hope so. Now, will I keep that card? Probably not. It's going to go back to They Call Me Joe. It's just going to have to happen because that would be too legendary of him for me to pull a SV49 and keep it for myself. But I can tack it off the old chart, you know, put a little check mark there, and then buy my own SV49 if I really want to. You know what I mean? So anyways, guys, I'm going to open up this tin right meow. Um, as you all know, I have bad luck with Charizard tins, but we're going to have faith in this Charizard tin and see if I can go ahead and pull that dang card finally so the hunt can be over. I can stop opening massive amounts of Hidden Fates and just call it a wrap. Just call it a rickety freaking wrap, man, because it's been a hard struggle for the last forever and ever and ever. I know. I just don't know. Yo, that's Snorlax, though. Jeez, what the schniz. All right. So we got a Mew Art, we got the Mewtwo Art, we got the Charizard, and we got Zapdos of one of each. I always have bad luck with the uh, Charizard packs, and I feel like Mewtwo is my homie. So we're going to go ahead and crack up this first, and then see if I'm going to get that shiny Charizard SV49 finally and call this set an absolute wrap. All right, here we go. I'm nervous. Every time I open this dang set, I absolutely get nervous, guys. It literally sends chills down my spine because I have lost all hope on pulling that amazing card. I do want it in my life. I want it bad. Like, I really want it bad. But I'm going to continue on opening up Hidden Fates packs and trying to pull that thing. Am I going to open up tons and tons of it in a short period of time? Probably not because, as you know, Hidden Fates is super expensive right now. On averages out on to, in most places to about $20 a pack. So it's not the cheapest thing in the world. And obviously, like, it's pretty much done printing at this point now. Um, you may be lucky and find it, like, in random shelves just because of the whole COVID thing and the problems with the distributors and restocking and stuff. But the odds are not in your favor, ladies and gents of the Rob Bob. So we're going to hope that we can pull it. But we're going to pull a nice Mewtwo in the meantime. Nice little Mewtwo. How do you do? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? That's not bad. We'll take a little Mewtwo. All right, two more packs, guys. Yo, Joe, once again, man, big shout out to you. Thank you for sending this my way. That way I can go ahead and provide some content for the Rob Mob, open up this package, and, you know, try to pull that fire-breathing fat freaking lizard. But we'll see. Charizard tins, Charizard packs, I just really have bad luck with those things. I really, really do. Slowpoke. And then this really shows you why I have bad luck with those tins. But can the faithful Mewtwo, for me personally, pull that card we'll see i love these packs the mewtwo packs i seriously feel like i get all my hits from and uh they really have not failed me up until probably now it's not looking too good i didn't see anything peek around the corner of my eye so we'll see we shall see what's coming up in the next three two one hey a little pole poi poi pole baby shiny poi 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 pole tomato tomato potato potato Man, another baby shiny, and once again, guys, as you know, we're going to go ahead and tally this up to 1,404 packs that I have not pulled the SP49, but once again, yo, Chris at Hidden Collection, man, you guys check him out, absolutely legendary, thank you so much for sending me that Snorlax, it is just a gorgeous piece, and it's going to be prized in my collection, and they call me Joe, thank you, dude, we opened up some Hidden Fates, of course, it's another struggle, but it is what it is, that's the name of the game when you open up Pokemon, and we're going to go ahead and try to pull this in some time future, maybe soon, later, I don't know. How good old Hidden Fates. Rob Bob, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, do remember to smash that like button, hit a subscription on my channel. Welcome to the Rob Mob, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. I am out. Peace.